So hello YouTube friends. I'm going to do one final video on this quilt top. Um, here it is. Uh, it's just up there, all gorgeously finished. I've just phoned up uh, a long arm quilter who lives uh, oh, two and a half, three hours drive from me. And we've arranged that I'm going to take this quilt top to her every time. Come on. Come on. She definitely thinks I'm talking to her, doesn't she? So this... Go away. So this morning then, because I want my table back, I'm clearing up the table and getting and putting all the piles of fabric and their colour orders and in their boxes back where they belong. However, you must do this as well if you're a proper quilter. <laughs> you make your quilt binding before you put everything away. Otherwise, you've got to drag it all out again. And when you've put everything away in the future. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to make the quilt binding now and put it all away with the um, the rest of the fabric. So this is how I'm going to make the binding. I like my bindings to be narrow. So this is just the first thing I've picked up. This is a little four inch square of red. So what I'm going to do then, my binding then is going to be folded like so, stitched onto the, I'm going to do the binding, stitched onto the um, finished quilt and then fold it over so the binding will probably be about that wide. Now, I've thought about how to bind it. There was a suggestion that I use the pink spotty fabric. Two reasons. I don't think I've got enough. I didn't buy that much. I was, I was only going to use it for cornerstones, so I didn't buy that much. Just sit there, please. <laughs> so what I've done this morning then, in tidying up all the fabric, I've cut four inch strips out of many, many, many of the fabrics that I was using. Now I'm going to do a very scrappy border so that it sits alongside this scrappiness here. And this is how I'm going to do it. I've cut, it doesn't matter what length the pieces are. I'm basically just going to stitch them together. Now quilt police look away now because I don't do this on the diagonal. I do this straight edge to edge. And because of the nature of this quilt, it doesn't actually matter. I'm just going to pick up any two, put them together like so. I would like to make about a foot more binding than I need. So I'm just going to keep going and then I'll measure it. Now you see that one's really long, doesn't matter. Because when I've sewn these together like this, I'm going to come through and cut them all off so that they're only going to be uh, narrowish, different size strips. So that's what that's what we're going to do now then. And then I can put everything away because I've got some plans for the next thing I want to do. We did the tutorial on the Scrappy Patchy Dog. And the next tutorial I want to do, I want to do a journal. I promised I would and we're going to do that. And that's going to be in a few parts. But when you finish something like this quilt top, it's really nice to have a properly good clean up, tidy round and put everything away. And that's what I'm going to do. I started off by cleaning out my desk over there and that's all tidy now. So I may just carry on doing some tidying this morning and getting everything done. Now this is a red spotty thing, but I'm going to do the whole piece and then I'll just cut it. So I just basically cut lots and lots and lots of four inch strips this morning. As soon as that's sitting there, I'll just stick that on the end of it. Occasionally, or more than occasionally, <laughs> I'll sew them so that they're wrong. Uh, you know, right sides together and then wrong sides together. It doesn't matter because I'm just going to cut them anyway. So I'm just going to keep on doing this until I've done this whole pile. I haven't measured it. I probably should have. I just cut until I thought, oh, that looks about enough. Because there's another thing that I like to do. When I finish making a quilt, I like to 
because uh, this one's going to be for sale so it's going to go go through the post to someone and I like to make a like a I can't think of the right word I can't think of the right word it's the right word like a binding no because this is the binding oh I'll show you at the end Okay then, so this is very long, but that's fine. I'll just cut it up. I'm just going to sew it to anything that looks like it wants to be used in the binding. I don't want these salvages though. Just get rid of them. And then, oh, I'm going to have the, a most massive sweep up because I throw everything on the floor. I've got a nice wooden, easy to sweep floor. And I throw it all down there. Sweep it all up and stick it in the fire or the compost, either one. It composts down beautifully and it makes for some interesting compost. Because <laughs> 100% cotton, if it if it is 100% cotton, then this is almost all of it. I'd say there's a bit of polyester in there, that one for instance. Uh, but that's okay, scrappy quilt. But it uh, rots down beautifully in the compost heap. So I've got loads more here to sew on, but I'll just show you what I do here. So this, it's all chain piece, so I'll cut that off like so. And then with this big bundle of chain piece, the only thing they have in common is that they're four inches square, four inches wide. So I'll cut this chain piecing aside. I'll cut the chain piecing apart like this. And then, so for instance, that one's really long. I'll just get it anywhere and cut it so that that's another piece to sew together. That's what I'm going to do now, guys. So I'll see you at the <laughs> end of this little process here. So you see those two are really long, so I'll cut them both. So I've got that now and then two more bits there. I'm just going to keep going, keep going, keep going.
Thank you.